How do you juggle the job of government house leader and attorney general when one seem to be kind of partisan? Well, um, it is uh, uh, it is parliament. It is uh, uh, the house leader's job. Something uh, that I've performed in the, the past and uh, have been asked to continue to uh, to perform and, and pleased to do so. And we'll continue to work with the the opposition and on the procedural aspects of managing affairs uh, in the le legislature. Mike, what, what about your relationship with Ottawa? Are you going to be going to them talking about the need for change of civil and uh, other uh, justice issues here in BC? Do you think um, your relations with Ottawa and the Aboriginal Affairs portfolio might have any impact on that? Uh, I, I like to think that we've, uh, as a government, enjoyed a solid working relationship with the federal government. In fact, I, I know that to be the case. Can I just say this, though, if we, it's the one day perhaps that one can uh, say this, uh, the, the job I've been asked uh, is one that I'm, I'm honored to uh, try and perform with the best of my abilities. But I've been pretty fortunate to follow in the footsteps of two uh, eminent jurists in Jeff Plant and, and Wally Opal. And so I have had an opportunity uh, to be something of a student over the past eight years with uh, two uh, exceedingly well-respected uh, teachers, if, if you will. I hope that will uh, assist and stand me in good stead. And uh, I have no reason to believe that the solid working relationship we've established with the federal government on a whole host of fronts wouldn't continue uh, through our third administration. What's will you continue? The prosecution of polygamists and bountiful. I'm sorry? The, the, the prosecution of polygamous and bountiful that Molly Opal did uh, against the recommendations of some others. Do you support it and, and will you continue to push it? Right. Well, 20 minutes into, uh, into the new job. 25. You'll, you'll, uh, 25. Uh, you'll, uh, you'll forgive me if I uh, shy away from specific cases that uh, I guess it's the first time I get to say are before the court. <laughs> uh, uh, and speaking of which, will you, uh, will you continue on with uh, the government's position, the previous Attorney General's position, that you can't comment on anything related to the legislative raid trial or anything related to BC Rail because of the sub judice rule? Well, the, uh, happily you have not just heard uh, attorney, former Attorney General Wally Opal uh, on that topic in the, the legislature. On occasion, you have uh, heard me speak, so uh, you know what my position and the government's position is on that. Uh, as, a, as a Minister of Aboriginal Affairs, you've been, uh, you, you know very well that to make some uh, forward moving with Aboriginal people and First Nation, you need to establish good relationships and love based on trust. How do you foresee the impact of you leaving that ministry for the, the future of that ministry? Well, you have again seen today by virtue of uh, what you heard from the Premier in uh, this commencement uh, address of the measure of importance that he as Premier and we as a government attach uh, to forging, uh, continuing to forge that new relationship with uh, Aboriginal peoples in British Columbia. Uh, that does not change. Uh, and uh, George Abbott, uh, as you know, an incredibly well-qualified uh, individual who has achieved and earned the respect of people uh, right across British Columbia uh, is going to uh, fit in and uh, become the new leader along with the Premier for the government. But the approach we take as government and have taken that has shown, as you correctly uh, put it, shown such positive uh, results will continue. And it's something that we are all proud of as uh, members of, of this government, Gordon Campbell's government. Appreciating that you've only had the job for about 20 minutes, are, are there, can you talk about any goals that you might want to accomplish? In the well, in general terms, uh, you will know that the, the, uh, some of the issues relating to the, uh, the costs of dispute uh, resolution, uh, how do we address that? How do we find uh, alternative ways to, uh, for people to access uh, dispute resolution processes that are, uh, are perhaps less costly. Uh, we've already you've heard the question, uh, which is a legitimate one, about the ongoing work uh, that was begun uh, with Attorney General Opal and uh, Solicitor General uh, Van Dong and working with Ottawa uh, to address some of the criminal justice issues. These will remain uh, very much on the front burner and very much priorities for the government. What about the Lobbyist Registration Act? Yeah, the work uh, 
uh, the, the work, of course, uh, has been ongoing. Uh, that's something I'll be discussing with the government house leader in the days ahead. Do you, when do you expect? When do you expect it will be introduced? Your house leader and attorney general. You have full control here, it seems. It, it, it would seem at 20 minutes uh, into uh, into both jobs. Uh, I can assure you that I plan to sit down quickly with the government house leader and discuss the matter fully. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone.